So applications for Google Step Internship are out. If you are a second year college student, then this particular opportunity can get you a probable pre-placement offer at a company like Google for a software engineering role. So Google Step is a program for second year engineering student in which Google provides you internship at the end of your second year in summer. And if you complete that internship, you can get a PPI that is pre-placement internship for your third year. And if you clear that, you can get a probable PPO. So this particular internship offers a stipend of 1.25 lakhs. And in this video, we are going to discuss about how can you participate what all things you need to take care of in your application process and what will be asked in the interviews so it is going to be a detailed video if you're somebody who's looking forward to apply for it make sure you do watch this video till the end if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead so every year google launches this internship in the month of november december january and the applications are open for a limited time based upon the number of applications received so the advice first of all would be to go and apply for it as early as possible if you can get a referral then it's okay if you can't get a referral then also you should go ahead and apply so while applying first we'll discuss about the eligibility criteria who is eligible for this generally in other countries first year and second year students are eligible for step internship but in india majorly second year students are eligible for the same who will be graduating in 2027 if any first year student want to apply you can also apply for it but it is not sure that whether your recommendation or whether you are eligible for the same or not. If you apply for this internship, then you will probably get a call back. How will you get a call back? Your resume will be shortlisted. Now, a second year student, what should you have in your resume? The major thing that is focused here is your problem solving skills as well as your achievements. If you have participated in some hackathon, go and write it here. If you have good projects, be it in any technology, be it web development or machine learning or artificial intelligence, write it in your resume. But please don't exaggerate that you don't know. Please don't write anything that's not your cup of tea. So your resume should have five sections. Majorly your academy are talking about your college and the year you will be graduating in. If you have a good CGV, make sure you write that CGV because that will show you are hardworking and consistent. Next, if you have some good projects in your resume, that would make it look better. Even if you don't have very big projects, if you have made a Sudoku solver or something like a small game, then also mention it uh, entirely because that can make a difference. Third is your achievements, not only your college achievements, but your school achievements. For example, whether you are an NTSC scholar or a KVPY scholar or any other uh, scholarship you have got or any other achievement in tech you have. So make sure you write that any achievement in which your leadership qualities are shown. Make sure you do write that. Then is your problem solving skills, your lead code profile or your, the number of questions you have solved or any coding competition you have participated or a hackathon you have participated. So all of these things you need to write in your resume for this step internship. Once your resume is shortlisted, then you get a call back from the recruiter because for some cases they have a lot of students applying. So they have a telephonic round after which only you can get interviews. Generally for this particular step internship, there's no online test conducted. It's majorly the interviews that are conducted. For some of you will be directly getting interview rounds for some of you will be getting a telephonic screening round and after that you'll be getting interviews. Around. Now, what is this telephonic screening round? It's a 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes call with the recruiter where she will ask you about the number of problems you have solved, why you want to apply for this internship and any basic CS fundamental problems. So this is something that you are going to face in the telephonic round. After, your, after this, you'll be shortlisted and two interview rounds will be scheduled for you. These two interview rounds would majorly focus upon your problem solving skills. When I say problem solving skills, it would be majorly data structure algorithms. They don't expect hard lead code problems from a second year student, but easy to medium level lead code problems of all topics, starting from arrays, trees, linked lists, tags, queues, graphs, uh, dynamic programming and trees. So all these topics you need to cover basic data structures. That's very, very important. Basic algorithms like sliding window and questions based upon hash maps are also very important. So this is something that you should consider when you're applying for an internship like this. It is generally believed that only girls are selected. Yes, the major portion of students who are selected for this internship is female, but I have a few example of boys who have been selected in this internship. So it is no harm applying for it. If you are a male candidate also now how to prepare and what to prepare every year I release a sheet in which there are stipulated number of questions. It is 280 questions list that you need to solve. So these questions are based upon most frequently asked and most important questions when it comes to big tech companies. So if you'll be able to cover these 280 questions, still you have time for interviews. Majorly interviews will be conducted in December. You have close to a month. Before